Hello, this is Ryan from Amnesty. I'm going to show you Napoleon or France. I'll tell you what victory condition I would recommend if you were to play them. I'll show you the social policy I'd recommend if you were to play them. And also, I'll show you their two unique units. So, they have Ancient Regime. I'm not French and I can't pronounce that exactly correctly. It is Ancient Regime in French, I'm assuming. Um, so, you get plus two culture per turn from cities before discovering steam power. No, that doesn't seem like much. That seems pretty weak, and to be honest, it is somewhat weak. But, before, if you play on a game that's a little bit longer, such as a marathon game or anything of that sort, it's actually somewhat strong. But if not, if you just play on a standard pace or a quick pace, it is somewhat relatively weak. I would recommend a cultural victory if you were to play as France. And why is that? It's relating to his uh, personality trait, as I mentioned. Uh, reason being is because in the beginning, if you do make a bunch of cities, let's say, this is the opposite route, if you make a lot of cities you will get tons of culture, you will get huge border expansion, but before I go too much into that, I'll take a step back and I'll talk about the culture victory. So if you are going for a culture victory, you just have that one city, maybe two, don't expand too much, that plus two culture will help you out if you choose the tradition policy you can stay hunkered down, you can stay very small, you can get extra money, uh, more importantly you can get that one, I don't remember, but when we get into the social policies I'll show you, don't remember the name of it, but it helps you build the production for wonders. You get that one pretty early on, and then if you were to build the terracotta army and some other cultural benefiting buildings, it will help you very much in a cultural victory. Um, I definitely would recommend is that number one thing you do as Napoleon. Now, if you don't want to go culturally, which I generally don't, um, you could also go domination. Now, I know that's kind of the complete opposite of what a cultural victory is about, but his two special units, the Foreign Legion and the Musketeer, are very, very, very good when you get them. So you are able to dominate very well. Of course, you're going to have to wait a little while to really, really dominate somebody. But prior to that, you'll be able to... Um, take over land just in the beginning of the game take over capital if you do want to play culturally but you are kind of doing a domination kind of mix between the two I'd recommend just taking capitals burning cities and then thirdly third recommend I'd recommend science why science because again if you're playing domination you may just be taking every city you can get including the capital the more cities that you have the more science you're going to have so in turn you will be able to win relatively easy on a scientific victory. Uh, if you realize you are ahead of everybody else in technology, remember, put spies in your main city so that way nobody is able to take, well, for the most part, nobody will be able to take your science or technologies from you. And then lastly, I'd say diplomatic would be the worst condition you could go with. The reason being is because it doesn't have a personality trait that helps with that. Patronage would help out, but Quite honestly, I don't know why you'd be picking patronage. You don't really want to be messing with city-states. I mean, you can. It's, there's, you know, there's no law that says you can't. But I really wouldn't recommend it. There's not much French has to do with that. So now I will show you the two unique units they'll have: the Foreign Legion and the Musketeer. So the Foreign Legion will have 320 production cost. He's a gunpowder unit. He has a 50 combat strength, which is huge. His movement is 2, and his ability is extremely good. Foreign lands bonus. Essentially, I'll click on it just to show you more. Co combat bonus outside friendly territory is 20. When it says 20, it means a 5%, so 20%. is 20% stronger in a foreign land. Pretty much goes by the name. Um, he does replace an infantry, so again, he's a very late unit. But he does get a 50 combat bonus, plus he gets an even higher combat bonus when you are attacking somebody, or just outside of your land, defending it for some odd reason, way past your land. Uh, so, if you are attacking, these are the guys to do it with. They're very good. And prior to them, the Musketeer, he'll replace the uh, Musket musket Man. Yeah, I almost forgot about that. <laughs> he'll cost you 150 production, 300 faith. He is a gunpowder unit. He's got a 28 combat bonus, a movement of 2. So, he is uh, the strongest Musket Man type unit, or special unit, because there are other ones in the game, but this is the strongest one. So once you are able to get gunpowder gun powder and muskets and whatnot, start building these guys and eventually through time, depending on what pace you're playing, you will 
relatively quickly get to the next, to the Foreign Legion. So you will be able to dominate, especially with this unit and their other unit. You combine the both, and it is quite frightening. And you will dominate. So, now I will show you the social policy if you are to play France. Alright, before I start talking about <clears throat> the social policy that I recommend, I'll tell you about the start bias that France generally has. Now, France, located in Europe, uh, kind of Central Europe, if you want to kind of consider it that way, um, normally won't start in a jungle. Normally, you would expect to be starting in grassland, plains, somewhat like that. Now, I suppose the people over at Paraxis decided that, since it's more south than Germany and Sweden, then it's considered jungle, because I've seen a lot of games where France is in the jungle. I've seen the AI in the jungle a lot of times. When I've played France, I've been in the jungle. So, for some reason, your start bias generally actually will be in the jungle, not just grasslands and plains. So, be ex be prepared for that, because if your first, if this is your first civilization playing, you'd expect that it would not be in the jungle. But, for some reason, it usually is. So, anyway, the social policies I'd recommend, if you are looking for cultural victory, which I'd highly recommend if you're to play France, would be tradition. And again, like I mentioned earlier in the video, the aristocracy is... aristocrat... whatever. Can't talk. That is what you want if you are looking to build wonders to help out your culture. And then again, this whole tr policy tree will help culture sevenfold because garrison units will cost no maintenance, your cities will, well, your city or cities will be a lot happier. Um, and then if you're looking to expand, dominate quite, quite a lot, I would definitely go with liberty. Liberty is because you get plus one culture in every city, so essentially then your little bonus would be plus three culture per city that you build, let alone if you build monuments. So your borders will expand quite rapidly. It's very nice. Up until steam power, of course. Um, and as always, liberty will increase the production, your workers will work faster, you'll get a worker, you'll also get a settler, and your settlers will be produced a lot faster. Plus, at the end of it all, you get a great person, so it's always a nice thing to have. Anyhow, so that is France. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. Thanks for watching.